Hey guys, it's me. Today we're going to be doing a dirty pour with some pinks, blues, gold, black, and white. And right now I'm making my dirty pour cup. These colors turned out absolutely amazing. I have pre-mixed all of my colors with um, Fluitrol and a little bit of pouring medium and a little bit of water as well. And a tiny bit of silicone. I did not put silicone in the white though. Now here I'm going to... Never too much white, ever. And I'm getting ready to put the cup down on top of the board upside down which is a flip cup And then flip it over really quickly. And normally I just do a white around the pour. This time I decided to do a little bit of a mix up, which I really like the way it turned out. As you can see, I'm putting the white on. Now I got some blue in there. My white has a little bit too much water in it, maybe, because see how it's kind of eating up around the colors. And bam. It's so pretty already. But as we all know that you cannot leave that much paint on the canvas or else it will dry all kinds of wonky. So we're going to have to dump some of this. And look at the sales that have already come out. I totally wish we could have just left it like that. Let it do its thing. But I just think it was too much paint. You can see all that. Yeah, there's no way that would have worked. I do tend to over pour paint sometimes. So the gold came out a little more than I was hoping for. Although the end result was really cool, and I love the way the sides have all the cell activity too, which they're kind of going to dissipate a little bit, obviously. But I think I'll try this again without the gold, or maybe just a tiny bit, maybe even a silver. I don't know. And here's something that I struggle with a lot. After I dump a painting, uh, it's very hard for me to get it back level. But apparently I managed to make it work. And then here are just some clips of some close-ups of the cell activity. And you'll see the end where it's dried. And it literally dried just like this. So there wasn't much more movement, which was really good. I was a little worried that I would lose a lot of that. But I didn't. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I will be getting back more to the tutorial side of things very soon. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get updates.